we you listen you speak to Matisse mostly most days you watch a lot of Chelsea football I know you watch Chelsea a lot as well let's kind of go into what we what we kind of know because you know Enzo Maresca is obviously their manager he's doing okay he feels like they've picked up a bit of form they seem to always swap out 11s as well they have a deep squad we've seen that in many games where they can literally just have a completely different 11 um, I know that they're unbeaten in the last eight at home so they're, they're on a quite a big long run um, playing at Stamford Bridge so We've got to kind of overcome that. Uh, they always concede at home, though. They, I don't think they kept a clean sheet in the Premier League at home um, this season. So they always concede. So not saying our attack is <laughs> flourishing, <laughs> to say the least. So, But I expect us to score a goal. The kind of last thing I want to touch on from what I know of, of Chelsea as well is obviously Cole Palmer. Is it is it a Cole Palmer FC sort of thing? Or is there more threats from Chelsea that we need to worry about going into this game? No, they, they've guys? got obvious threats. I mean, you know, the much derided or previously derided Nicholas Jackson, he's mm. scoring goals at the moment. I like Luka Neto. I mean, listen, they've, they've, they've got some very good players in that team. So it's not all about Cole Palmer. But listen, if, <laughs> if the rumours are true that he's a doubt, although sometimes when you hear the word doubt, that means there's a bit of mind mm. games going on, he will play. But let's be honest, Chelsea are a lesser team without him in it. Yeah. Um, so, but if he does play, it will be um, <laughs> difficult for us, I'm sure. Mm. 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 He's, a, he's the main man, but Chelsea have other talent, but he is the main man. He, he, the, the job is to stop him, essentially. He's, That's that as well. You know, he's he's been him, one of the best Chelsea players then? of the season so far. Um, we know what he's about, a silky player. He can makes that and that and nothing but there's also the question marks hanging over his head about big game situations mm, now yeah. does he use these questions on Sunday to motivate him and you know show himself cold Palmer and all of that <laughs> or does it fall into you know the rest of the stats in the big games and he yeah, that's what we hope as Arsenal fans but they have Neto for example who can cause threat they have Jackson I, I must say I do like can, the him, yeah actually. Jackson's a threat yeah. he's yeah, he, he's not the best striker in the world but He's a bit unpredictable. I think he's he, he's decent technically. You wouldn't want him at Arsenal boys, would you? No, no, because okay. we need a okay. bad boy in front I'm, of us. I'm glad. I'm I just, Chelsea are at that finding. Not, don't do, Chelsea no. are at that finding top four stage, and then they're at that. You know, once they if they surpass that stage, they'll be looking to upgrade on Jackson. But he is a good player. Right, right. You, you, and you he is a striker. Down I mean, your nose at Jackson, but no, um, if he, he was coming off the bench for Arsenal, I'm sure you wouldn't have any complaints. I mean, coming off the bench is different. I mean, yeah. I mean, coming off the bench, I think yeah, that's that's adequate. Yeah. I'm saying but, Jackson or Havertz. Who, but we who need have Havertz coming off the bench. We don't need someone coming off the bench for Havertz. Cecil, I don't, yeah. read, I don't read Jackson. All I'm I don't saying, expect my defenders to be able to handle Jackson, and I, and I can want more from yeah. us. So I think our striking. They have other friends. Listen, he's a, he's a he's handful, man. Casado's in very Kaysado's good form. has been good this very season. Good form as well. So Jackson player. is a handful. Yeah. And I say that as somebody that's criticised him in the past. He, he is getting better. There's no doubt. The stats bear that out. He's only a young guy yeah. and he's getting better. I mean, they have, they've conceded at least one goal in the last six games, Chelsea at home. So there's, yeah, they can be so touched. You can, you can score against them. They've obviously flourishing. I don't, you can't take much from this because they beat FC Noah's 8 0. Nothing can be taken from that if I'm being nah. real. But it, listen, that they, was a completely different team and they smoked them, which is what they should do. They did what they were supposed to do. But I don't think that is in any way going to reflect upon uh, Sunday. It's going to be yeah. a very different game. Well, we've done, we've done, you know, we've spoken about Chelsea a lot and I think everyone done with kind of what they what they know about Chelsea. I think you're right. I think Casado's on good form. Neto's a very good player. He's someone that I should really, should really highlight as well and to be, he can be a threat going against Arsenal. Um, again, Lavia. Lavia. Him no, and they, they've, they've got some form. good players. I think we do have to give Enzo Maresco some credit here because he's come in previous to that. Chelsea were a bit all over the place, weren't they? A bit of a rabble. A He's mess. managed to go in there and get some semblance of organisation and unity. And you're seeing the results of that because whatever you say about Chelsea, they do have good players. It's just that previously they are a bit up and down. I mean, to be fair to, uh, what's the guy that was there before? The Argentinian guy. Uh, Poch. Poch. Yeah. He was starting to bring things together a little bit before the end of last season, remember? Yeah. yeah. They finished quite well. What Maresca's done, he's come in and he's taking it on another level now they're looking a lot better You've, this will be a very difficult game for Arsenal no doubt about it so we've kind of discussed in this we've discussed where you know they're kind of strong in the midfield we've got kind of called Palmer and whatnot and when he plays goes attacking they're, they're, they're mid, sorry midfields with Caicedo, Lavia and their attacking options with Cole Palmer and whatnot Pedro Neto as well their defence, it seems like, from what I'm feeling from this preview, is kind of where they're, they're weak. Their goalkeeper, especially, by the way, Robert Sanchez, I think, can be, yeah. can be got at. I Our think pressing, can... we'll win the ball back. Will we finish it is the question. 
See, this uh, is that, what... we will win the ball high up. You know, we will have our opportunities to create a chance. Oh, That's where we tend to, you know, falter. 